Uh, inequalities include these symbols. Um, this one looks like a less than because it's in, kind of like an L. This one is greater than because, it, well, it kind of looks like a G. You just need an extra line right there, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> if it has a line underneath it, uh, there's only one line there because mathematicians are too lazy to put two lines. So you get one. Uh, that means that it's either, in this case, less than or equal to, meaning that only one of the conditions has to be true. If it's equal to, it's true. If it's less than, then it's still true. Okay? Now, same with greater than or equal to. We won't see this one too much, but that just means that it's not equal to. So we just slash through the equal sign. You want to record over that now. <laughs> yes. Uh, so 16 is yes. Let's do one fourth because it's a fraction. And well, we all hate fractions. Four times one fourth. We shouldn't hate as fractions as much, by the way, because we can use calculators. So four. Uh, you could change it to a decimal if you want. In any case, you're going to get one out of that. So one plus eight is greater than nine. One plus eight is nine. Is nine greater than nine? No, oh, that's false. Now, if it had the line underneath it, it would be true. But this one is false because, well, nine is not actually greater than nine. You know what? I'm just going to put no. All right, what about zero? So again, we can go back. Let's replace this one-fourth with a zero. That's going to give us a zero there. So an eight. Eight is greater than nine? Nope, it's not. 